my sister Dr. Paul. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for just coming together to this evening, Lord. We thank you for all the people coming together in your name. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for being a good God. Lord. Yes. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us daily, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you for how you have just come into our lives and made a change, Lord. Yes, Lord. A change like no other, Lord. And we just want to thank you and give you the glory, Lord. We want everyone that has come into this place today to give you yes. the glory. Yes. With your yes, word, Lord. We want to give you the glory. Yes. And yes. we want to thank you. We want to praise you. And Lord, we just thank you for all of things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We want everyone to stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. reading will be coming from our theme today. Amen. Proverbs 31, verse 29 and 30. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou exceedest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. 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 Renee Dawson. As I look back 
Something to change. Amen. It's just the Holy Ghost to see. Amen. Let's talk about, y'all see the tent now. Amen. First of all, we want to invite everybody to come out to the tent. No matter what church, huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Praise God. We're going to come lift up the, G, up the name of Jesus. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 This is us. Huh? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, who don't mind setting up with Jesus? All right. Amen. Amen. If that means you come way out of town. Run. 
praising on church. So he put some on. She, she used to love to rob me. I remember her robbing me. So sad and bankrupt. Had, had the fullness. I remember that night she went to fill out at the tent. She came back home. Clean out that mess again. Cast it on your shirt. That's the only you play. The folks gonna put something on you over there. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. But you know what? I saw the difference. And everything. Jesus will make a difference in your life. Amen, praise God. Grief, amen, because of 
she couldn't have any children. Amen. She, she demonstrated great faith. Amen. She demonstrated faith, prayer, and praise, though she struggled with grief and bitterness as a result of being childbearing. Amen. I, she couldn't bear the children. Amen. It was saying like back in the day, it's uh, how when you couldn't bear children that they counted you as being a curse. It was a curse, amen, that you couldn't have any children. Amen. It said, um, though she struggled with uh, struggled with grief and bitterness and the result of that childbirth, Hannah exhibited great faith by continually taking birth in fertility to the Lord in prayer. After the long away birth of her son Samuel, whom she did, did, dedicated to the Lord, Hannah prayed Praise God for her gift. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hannah was in prayer. She prayed to God. Amen. She didn't give up. She persevered. She didn't stop praying. She wanted a child. She had prayed and asked the Lord if he would bless her with a man child. Amen. Praise God. And if he did, he would, she would give him back to, to the Lord all the days of his life. Amen. So Hannah, she never stopped praying. Amen. Praise God. Even though when they went up to the temple year after year. Amen. Praise God for prayer. And she was going through her torment and how Banana was vexing her spirit and they been causing her to grieve. Amen. She just kept praying. She didn't stop praying. She didn't give up. She kept praying. She persevered. Amen. Pray God. And she prayed so, prayed so, amen, to she got. She was just so vexed in her spirit that she prayed. We all pray so to that pray out of my heart. She just pulled, pulled out of her soul, crying out to the Lord. Sometimes we just pray. I think about how Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes, yes. He just prayed to, Amen, straight all of them at uh, blood, Amen. But he he was persevered. He didn't give up, Amen. Praise God. He did say, Amen. Pray God. If not let this cup pass from me, not my will, but let that will be done. I think about him. I see just pray and just sought God. And this that's the way we have to do today, Amen. When we seeking after something from God, sometimes. We just got to put our plate aside. She got so full that she couldn't even eat. Mm. Amen. She was so vexed up. Yes. The lady, that would have the children, the other wife, she just vexed her so and talked about it. So made fun of her. Amen. Praise God. So she just, just cried out to God, just sent her over to the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And she went to the temple and she was praying, praying, praying in the temple to Eli. Oh, amen. Praise God. And she was drunk. And amen. But she was full. Her soul was just going out. Amen. She requested what she wanted from God. 
Sometimes we got to be specific. Tell about what we want. And then we can't just be around the bush and just hide. We got to be specific. Tell about what we want. Amen. Praise God. It says we should do the same. Uh, Philippians 4 and 6. We should do the same thing. We got to put no run to God. She made a vow to God. Amen. As I said before, we have to make a vow. When we make our vow, we don't take it back. I remember Sister Bill, the same song said, I made a vow to the Lord. Yes. Amen. And I won't yes. take it back. Amen. Yes. Said, and Ecclesiastes tell us to don't make no vow and not pay. Right. We shouldn't do it. Right. Amen. If we make a vow, we're going to have to pay our vow. Right. Amen. She, she vowed, made a vow. She made a vow to God. She kept her vow. Amen. After her son was born, after the Lord blessed her with the man child. Amen. She did what she told the Lord she was going to do. Right. Amen. She didn't renege on him when she got the child. Amen. Pray God. She didn't say, I ain't going to take my child over there. I'm going to keep my baby here with me. Yes, Amen. Yes. She didn't change her mind. Yes. Amen. She held on to what she had from. Right. Amen. Pray God. She continued in prayer. Mm -hmm. She poured out her heart, her soul. Jesus said we should be consistent in prayer too. Mm -hmm. In Luke 18 and 1. She prayed with her heart. That's verse 12. She wanted, she wants us to worship him in heart and spirit. She poured out her soul. Being fervent in prayer is effective. Amen. The prayers of a, the, um, the Lord, the prayers of a righteous man of the other much. Amen. The effective prayer of a righteous man of the other much. But we got to be effective, amen, in what we do and what we, how we live. Amen. Praise God. And just think about how the lady took us through so much. Mm -hmm. Amen. Took us through so much because she couldn't bear, bear a child. Wow. Bear a child. Yeah. Wow. Amen. And I just thought that too. It said um, about we being cursed. Mm -hmm. We couldn't bear children to be cursed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Back in, they said back in that day, back in the daytime when they used to have the custom of, you know, you couldn't have children. That they count you as being cursed. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we thank wow. God that, you know, there's a way out, amen, praise God. When we things don't go our way, amen, God will bring it, amen, bring it around, amen. And he'll give us just what we ask him for if we hold on and don't give up the faith. Just keep on per persevering, amen. If it don't happen today, amen, come back tomorrow. If it don't happen tomorrow, come back the next day, amen. If it don't happen the next day, come back the next day. Don't never give up, don't give up, amen. So that's my prayer
me continue to put that thing in the boat up. Yeah. Amen. And I, 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 I ask somebody, have they ever had some of them now? Ooh, moments, amen, when you're just praying out a word and say, ooh. designate time alone 
with Jesus by worshiping him, right. by praying, by reading, and yeah. meditating on his word. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Now, we meditate on everything else. Mm -hmm. We meditate on the social media. Yes. We meditate on TikTok. Right. We meditate on uh, Facebook and all of this. But we need to meditate on the word of God. Right. Yeah. That's the only thing that, that that's going to get us through this pandemic right. and the rest of our lives. Amen? Yes. So when we spend time along with Jesus, I believe, and you all know, he refreshes and replenishes our soul yes. and shows us what to do. Yes. See, when you spend time alone, you get wisdom from mm -hmm. on high. Yes. So he shows us what to do about those things that concern us right. because Jesus cares about everyone in here. Yes. He is concerned yes, about is. you. Amen. Okay? Also, when we spend time alone with Jesus consistently, daily, day in and night, amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't feel so overwhelmed right. and hindered by the distractions of, the, of this world. Because, see, that's Satan's plot. He wants to distract you. Right. He wants to hinder you. Right. So you cannot see the fullness of God. All right. And experience the blessings of God. Right. See, Satan had his chance right. in heaven. Amen? Right. He knows the glory of God. Right. He don't want you to experience yeah. the glory of God. Right. Amen? Right. So, I believe that Martha, again, is the symbol of service. But God don't want us to get so busy because we can become busy bodies. All right. Uh -huh that we forget to spend that time with him. Yes. Finally, I think when we spend time alone with Jesus, we ultimately begin to serve each other right. with genuine yeah. love. Pastor 
she came from a pagan country mm -hmm. and a pagan family. Right? Yes. But God, God being right. so good, yes. Yes. he has yes. a plan for her future. Yes. 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 And the events or the sequence of the events, they might not have played out so smoothly. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, we're going to see what God has planned. Right. Amen. And you know, we're going to as we go on and unfold this story, and I'm going to try to shorten it, and I'm going to bring a lot of the New Testament over into the, uh, from the Old Testament, because you know it's just a bridge anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to see how God will turn our situ situation around for the better beca because of adversity that we may be going through. Mm -hmm. yes. But like Ruth, God has a plan to turn your situation uh, and the hardship that you may be going through mm -hmm. as, as stepping stone to your victory. Yes, yes. Okay, the story of Ruth began in chapter 1 of Ruth. All right. When a famine came to the land of Judah, mm -hmm. Elimelech and his family, they traveled to the land of Moab, mm -hmm. trying to see greener pastures. Right. And while they was there, disaster struck. Naomi, she lost her husband. Mm -hmm. And not only did she lose her husband, mm -hmm. but she lost her two sons. Mm -hmm. right. And after she lost her two sons, that left her alone with her daughters in law, Ruth and Oak. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, Naomi, you know, she didn't know what to do, just had the daughters in law. She decided she was going to return to Bethlehem. And she asked her daughter-in-law to, y'all go back and return to your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of times when you lose, and in this day and time, when you become a widow, mm -hmm. no longer are you considered an uh, in-law anyway. Mm -hmm. You're considered an outlaw. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> all right now. <laughs> Ruth had so much faith that her faith led her to glean 
trust. And after that, it changed the, uh, her life. And faith again, what Ruth had, uh -huh. it should emulate us as yeah. Christians today. Yeah. And another characteristic that I saw that Ruth had, she was hard working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She immediately yeah. went to work when she arrived at right. Bethlehem. Right. Mm -hmm. She told Naomi to let her go to the field and pick up the leftover grain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, besides, uh, behind anyone in whose eyes that she found favor. And you know, God being so good, Ruth went into the field of Boaz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as she was busy working, Boaz came from Bethlehem to greet the harvest. And as he was talking with his workers, he noticed Ruth and asked who she was. And the workers, you know, they told him who she was. And so Boaz, at that time, approached her. He was very kind to her. And then we read uh, the second chapter of Ruth. We are finding the whole story. But the moral of this story is that Ruth worked hard to provide food for her and Naomi. Mm -hmm. But through Ruth's hard work, God was also working hard yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. Ruth exemplified the trait of initiative. 
that she also rises while it is yet yes. night mm -hmm. and provides food for her household. Yes, yes. Strength and honor are her clothes. Mm -hmm. She shall rejoice mm -hmm. in times to come. Yes. And not only this Ruth was one to take the initiative, she had diligence. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, showing uh, the initiative to begin a job is one thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being faithful and diligent to do the job is another. That's it. That's uh, it. And we read over the uh, New Testament, Colossians 3, 23 through 24, wow. it will give us the biblical definition of diligence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Urging us that whatever you do, mm -hmm. work at it with all your heart. That's yes. it. Yes, working for the Lord. Yes. Not for human masters. That's no it. Master. That's Once it. Did you know that you will receive an inheritance? From the Lord as a reward, yes. it is the Lord Christ that you are serving. Yes. Yes. You know, diligence was one of the character traits which initially recommended Ruth to Boaz. Right. The first time that she laid eyes on her and asked his servant who she was, right. mm -hmm. the servant reported, she came into the field and has remained here right. from morning till now, mm -hmm. except for a short rest. On the ship. And you know that was diligent. And not only did she have diligence, but she had perseverance. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, almost anyone, you know, you can start to work diligently. Mm -hmm. We see that a lot of times. Mm -hmm. People start to work in those short spurts and they just look like working so hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But continuing to serve God by completing even some basic tasks, faithfulness, day after day. It's going to require some perseverance. Mm -hmm. Perseverance involves sticking with something for the long haul. Yes. And doing it so and doing so to a consistently high standard, even when the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. Because it's not going to be easy all the time. Mm -hmm. We got to stick with it no matter how tough, mm -hmm. how rough mm -hmm. it gets. Mm -hmm. And so we see that in the book of Ruth. And she was faithfully gleaning through. Uh, the, throughout the field, uh, both the barley and the wheat harvest, mm -hmm. Ruth portrayed a plain picture of the perseverance which scripture mandates in Galatians 6 and 9. Mm -hmm. What is that? Let us not become weary. That's it. Uh -huh. We are doing it. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Well, at the proper time, That's yes, it. we are reaping harvest yes. if we do not give up. That's so it. We got to, as the Sunday school lesson said this morning, we got to keep going. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then we got to have a heart of gratitude. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Persevering under the eastern sun, you know, Ruth may not have seemed to possess many reasons to be thankful. You know, because she was working hard. Mm -hmm. And if we look at her today, you know, why should she be thankful? She had in that field working mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. She could have said, wow, here I am. I've lost my husband. I've left my home and family. Mm -hmm. I don't become an outsider in a new country. Mm -hmm. Talk about a stressful situation. Mm -hmm. She was in a stressful situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if that wasn't enough, she could have said, I'm out here working a back-breaking job, mm -hmm. getting sunburned among the poor of the poor. Mm -hmm. and, and in the meantime, I'm living with my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> You know, just being normal and being realistic. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can say that she had a lot to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. But she had a thankful heart. Yes, she did. Yes, she and did. When, instead, when uh, Boaz invited Ruth to continue working in this field, she showed extravagant, genuine gratitude. Mm -hmm. yes. She was literally bowing down to the ground and asking, yes. why? Have I found such favor in your eyes mm -hmm. that you notice me? Mm -hmm. yes. A foreigner. Ruth exhibits the attitude of gratitude. Yes. All right. yes. And then not only was she grateful, but she was content. Yes. That's another characteristic that I wow. noticed that she wow. had. Uh, she, according to uh, 1 Timothy 6, 6 through 8, godliness with contentment is great gain. Yes, it is. For we brought nothing into this world, right. and we can't take nothing out of it. Right. But if we have food and clothing, mm -hmm. we should be content with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ruth's satisfaction to continue indefinitely with Naomi, living on the same carbohydrates day after day, shows the kind of contentment. 
when he said, I have learned to be content in whatever state I'm in. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be in need. Right. Yes. And I know what it's like to have plenty. Yes. I have learned the secret of being content in every and situation. Whether fed or hungry, mm -hmm. whether living in plenty or lonely. Right. And he also said, that I can do all things through yeah, yeah. Christ yeah. who strengthens me. Yeah, yeah. And because Christ gives us strength, we like Ruth can get up, keep going in the face of life's difficult blows. Mm -hmm. In other words, we can show the character trait of resilience. Mm -hmm. yes. Resilience is always a natural human response to hardship including losing almost everything you once knew and loved mm -hmm. and becoming a full-time barley collector. But it's called the stuff. God's grace is sufficient. Yeah. Even then, for his power is made perfect in weakness. Yeah. Yes. Ruth beautifully modeled such God-given resilience. Mm -hmm. Becoming one of those who lived out God's promise in Isaiah 40, 30 and 31. But those who wait, that's it. Yes, yes. Shall renew their strength. Yes, yes. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Yes. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and, and not faint. Mm -hmm. And another characteristic, I'm almost finished, was humility. All right. Not only did she show resilience. Group responds to difficult circumstances shows the priceless trait of humility. Mm -hmm. And the Bible suggests that humility involves living out of deep recognition of our need for God, not thinking of ourselves more highly than we ought to. Mm -hmm. And then we have to place other people's needs ahead of our own. Yes. And see, that was Ruth's initial reaction of gratitude to Boaz. She had a willingness to perform that hard, tedious labor mm -hmm. and consistently, consistency in placing Naomi's needs mm -hmm. ahead of her own. Mm -hmm. And that's the Bible view of humility. Mm -hmm. And if we saw in humility, it means grieving honor. Mm -hmm. As Luke 14 and 11 says, all those who exalt themselves, mm -hmm. they will be honored. Mm -hmm. And those who humble themselves yes. will be exalted. Mm -hmm. God's faithfulness to honor Ruth's humble service demonstrates the reward of humility. Mm -hmm. And not only did she have humility, but she was teaching. Mm -hmm. right. so right. In today's right. society, there's so many of us there. that's not teaching. Right. We don't think right. nobody right. can tell us anything. Right. If we don't uh, know what we think we know, mm -hmm. we don't want nobody else to tell us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, part of showing humility involves seeking, hearing, and following godly counsel. Mm -hmm. In other words, we got to be teachable. That's right. it. And there are several verses when we go into the book of Proverbs that highlight the relationship between teachability and wisdom. Mm -hmm. The book of Proverbs tells us that the wise listen to advice and that listening to advice further wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom in turn leads to blessings, happiness, mm -hmm. honor, mm -hmm. life, and peace. Mm -hmm. And we know that Ruth was teachable because she carefully listened to Naomi's wise advice. Mm -hmm. And then she reaped lasting rewards for doing so. Mm -hmm. And the last trait that I'm going to leave you with, with Ruth, and she had so many, is that she was dependable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Naomi, she knew that Ruth would follow her instruction because Ruth had consistently proven herself to be reliable. And Ruth knew that if she stuck with Naomi through the lowest season of their lives, providing for Naomi faithfully and persevering,
persevering through the hunger, Ruth had shown herself to be the tongue. You know, how many people today can you truly say the tongue? Uh -huh. All right. And you know, we need to be the tongue. All right. All right. If we say we're going to do it, we need to do it. If we say we're going to go, we need to go. Uh -huh. And look, look uh, the 10th chapter, the 16th verse tells us that God honors whoever is dependent. Uh -huh. He says, he who is faithful uh -huh. in what is least uh -huh. is faithful also in much. Uh -huh. And he who is unjust, God honors her by entrusting her with even more responsibility, uh -huh. including descendants to raise in the ways of the Lord. Yeah. And you know, a lot of times we want a lot at first to be uh, in in order to prove ourselves faith. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to prove ourselves faith in the good things mm -hmm. first. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And right. then, right. He, will, we can, he can count us to That's be right. faithful in yeah. the That's it. And so as I go to my seat, I want to let you know that Ruth was one. She uh, had all these characteristics. Yeah. And she went from landing in the field to guess what, y'all? Mm -hmm. On in the field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.